Before we begin, I'd like to speak to any new viewers watching the show for the first time. Hey guys, turn back now. There's nothing after the intro except darkness and heartbreak. Save yourselves. Now to our regulars, welcome back! We got so much great tech news for you. Prime stuff. The Aegis and Vortex from MSI take small form factor systems to the next level, offering blistering gaming and VR performance in a small package, while still making it easy to upgrade components. Click the video to learn more. A while back, rumors sprung up that Google was working on a mainstream, standalone VR headset to compete with the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. But a report from Recode recently claimed the company had cancelled the project in favor of its Android-based mobile VR platform, Daydream, which they announced at Google I.O. However, now sources from Google have reportedly told Engadget that a team is still working on a dedicated headset that combines a virtual reality and augmented reality experience. This device wouldn't need a computer or a phone to power it. Uh, maybe this has something to do with Magic Leap, the AR company Google invested a butt-ton of money in? Maybe Google is just developing 18 different things at once so we can never know what they're doing until they do it. I think it's that one. Intel has traditionally kept their enthusiast and mainstream CPUs on separate platforms, but with the upcoming Skylake X and KB Lake X, they will be combined to make something more powerful than you've ever imagined. Of course. New official looking charts from Intel have leaked on BenchLife showing the enthusiast Skylake X with 6 to 10 cores and up to 44 PCIe lanes, and the mainstream KB Lake X with 4 cores and 16 PCIe lanes. Both CPU lines will fit into the Basin Falls X platform, which will use the new LGA 2066 socket when it presumably launches in Q2 2017. Now, of course, take this with a healthy dose of salt, but if it's true, it's great news for upgradability. SoftBank, the giant Japanese telecommunications company has agreed to acquire British chip designer ARM for around 32 billion US. ARM designs processors for Qualcomm, Samsung, and more, which are ubiquitous in mobile devices. Many analysts believe the deal to be a result of the falling value of the pound following Britain's decision to leave the European Union. SoftBank reportedly plans to use the company to expand heavily into the Internet of Things market. What can you find at that market? Things. Get your things over here! Hot things for sale! Sorry. It's time for... Quick updates from Riga, Latvia at Central Park! Central Park! Wow, uh, nice. I especially like the two guys after you said that, like, eh? It's a park, so... Thank you for your submission, gentlemen. If the rest of you would like to get featured in Netlink, send us a clip of yourself saying Quig Beats. Twitch has introduced new non-gaming categories to its repertoire, including comedy, magic tricks, music, theater, and voice acting. Dramatic readings are even in there, eh? If it leads to more things like Bob Ross's sultry voice making me feel better about life, bring it on. Two more Chromebooks have got early support for Android apps, the Acer R11 and the 2015 Chromebook Pixel. The laptops joined the Asus Flip as the only Chromebook supported right now, although more than 60 are expected to get support sometime in the next year. Which is even better news because you could run some Windows games via the crossover Android app. The app's developers demoed the Windows Steam version of Limbo running on a Chromebook using crossover. Well, I guess we're all getting Chromebooks now. I mean, like, they're actually worth it. So, If you want to try out Star Citizen without pledging hundreds or thousands of dollars for a digital ship, the game is free to try this entire week. Tweaktown is reporting Valve and HTC are working on a second-gen Vive headset to release in early 2017, but that sounds pretty iffy. And SpaceX has successfully landed its Falcon 9 rocket on land for the second time after delivering a new docking module into orbit for the ISS. Uh, Elon Musk. He's our hero, gonna get us into space super easy, and he's gonna... Um, news sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote that, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Happy birthday, Dennis and Mercy Moore. I don't think I've ever seen two names that are so different. I am Mercy Moore, guardian of the portal. And I'm Dennis. <laughs> Hope you do have an amazing birthday. Wait, is it the same day? 
Anyways. Man, all these gaming laptops look kick-ass, but I wish there was an extra little cherry on top to make buying one that much better. If you found yourself saying that, Great news! For a limited time, NCIX is giving away Dragon Fever Summer Gift Bundles with select MSI gaming systems. The bundle includes an MSI gaming backpack, an MSI travel neck pillow, and an MSI Dragon Mini Bricks toy. Mini Bricks? That's like Lego, but not Lego. Wow! What did your friends get with their gaming laptops? Nothing! Ha <laughs> ha! They're so dumb. Click here for all of the details and to improve your life in immeasurable ways with the Dragon Fever Summer summer Gift Bundle. All right, that's it for Nettling Daily, guys. That's enough nonsense. Click here to watch more videos, follow us on social media over here, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, I absolutely have to go because there's like four Pidgeys around me right now. Yeah, they're weak, but I'll get those experience points from evolving. What's up? I'm sorry. Also, there's not actually. I don't even have the app open. But wow, what a fun game, eh, guys? Uh, all of us are playing it all together. We're friends. I got my grody teenage beard. Gotta get rid of this teenage beard. What? Is it white? Yes.